So far for our bug project, we have our background and we've mixed our three secondary colors. Now to turn them into bugs, you are going to use markers in the three secondary colors that you mixed and to outline the painted blob and then cut it out. So I'm gonna use the secondary color that I mixed, matching it with my marker. So I made orange here with yellow and red. With my marker, I'm just gonna make a line where your paint kind of meets your paint ends on the paper. So you're making the outline of your bug because sometimes it's kind of hard to see it. If your paint is a little smeared, you wanna know exactly where you need to cut. What is the shape that your bug is going to be? So this kind of just is kind of like a cutting line for you. So you know where to cut. So you're gonna outline all three of them this I mixed green, so I'm using my green marker. It's okay if you're getting on the paint a little bit. All the way around, trace it. It's okay if some of your bugs are bigger and some are smaller. Bugs are all different sizes, so you're just tracing around your blob. Red and blue made purple on this one. So with your purple, trace all the way around. And then you're cutting them out. Remember when you wanna cut a curved line, when you squeeze your scissors together, you also are turning them at the same time or you're turning your paper. That's what gives you a nice curved line instead of short, straight lines when you go around a curve. See, I'm turning my paper and my scissors a little bit, going around the curves, cutting right on that marker line. And when you're cutting these out, you can kind of look at the shapes of your paint blobs and start to kind of imagine what bug they could be because some of them naturally might look like a butterfly or a beetle or some other bug and that's the details you wanna give it to look more like that bug. Or maybe you have no idea what kind of bug it looks like and you're just kind of making a bug that you've never seen before. Maybe it has five eyes, maybe it has um, a bunch of legs, almost like a centipede on each side. Maybe it has wings. Maybe you can see some wings right in your paint blob, or maybe you wanna draw your own wings on your bug, which you would be doing on the background then if once you glue it. We're gonna glue them first before we add those details. You're gonna decide if you want your bugs in the grass or in the sky. You need some in both places. And when you put glue on the back, just put dots, tiny dots all over it, just not too close to the edge. This one, I'm gonna put him in the sky. I'm gonna put this one, I think, maybe in the grass. Kind of crawling out of the grass. And last one, you wanna spread them around little bit. It's okay if they touch your clouds. Mine quite didn't quite touch, but it's okay if it overlaps and you it's covering up part of your cloud. Okay, there's my other bug. Now once they're glued down, then you can take your Sharpie marker and start adding the details. So this one I can now, this definitely looks like the head of my bug here. I'm gonna give him some nice big eyes. Draw slow with your Sharpie markers. I started drawing really fast and it almost looked like my marker was dried out. It's just because you're drawing on paint and that's a little different. So you have to just kind of draw slow. Oh wow, mine, this is starting to look like an owl head <laughs> right there. I'm gonna give him, let's see. Well, maybe that's just the design and maybe his eyes are actually right here. And that's just kind of, the design on the back of his head. Um, maybe he has some antennas. See how you're drawing it right onto the paper? 
maybe on his body. There's these wings that I'm drawing right on the paper, the painted paper. Maybe he has dots on his wings. I'm just gonna make little circles for right now. Or maybe both dots and circles. So I do the same thing over there. Maybe he also has legs. He has wings and he has some legs. I'm gonna make him have five legs on each side. So you are going to add bug details with your Sharpie marker, drawing slowly on all three bugs. And then the last step is taking your green paper strips because we're gonna give our bugs um, some three-dimensional grass to crawl around in. Something that's three-dimensional sticks off your paper. You can feel it. So we've done this before, the accordion fold with strips of paper where you fold it and you flip it. And you fold it, pinch it, flip it. Fold it, pinch it, flip it. Fold, flip, fold, and flip. All right. And then you have this little zigzag looking paper strip. This is gonna be some grass. You can have it touching your bugs a little bit. You don't wanna cover up most of your bug, but you can overlap it if you'd like. If you don't want to, I'm sure you can stick it in between your bugs. You can put four or five paper strips, but when you put glue on it, you're just drawing, opening up your glue bottle first, I closed it. You're drawing a line of glue and another line of glue, two lines of glue on the back. Flip it over and then you're just gonna lay it on your paper. Some of the glue is not gonna touch the paper, but parts will and you just lay it there and once it dries, it's gonna stick. Make sure if touching the bottom, your grass is not growing kind of midair here. It has to be growing from the dirt on the ground. So you can have them going at a diagonal direction or up and down, but fit four or five of those in your background as well.